Well, they, they say they want to take a multi-pronged approach. That's because they've been losing officers in the last few months, even after many saw a boost in their paychecks. Now, right now, JPD has 258 sworn officers. There are 159 patrolmen in the four precincts across the city. There are 98 vacancies. Last month, corporals and sergeants started getting a salary boost approved by the city council back in January. But even with that extra pay, Assistant Chief Joe Wade told the council's public safety ad hoc committee Monday, the department has lost at least 10 officers in the first three months of 2022. Wade says pay is an ongoing issue. They need more. <laughs> they need more. Because how can you quantify putting your life on the line every single day? You know, how much is enough? So I would ask, as their voice and Chief Davis, that uh, increased salary for our officers from recruit on up. Now, JPD's plan to retain officers on the force. They want to establish a new recruitment team to bring in people who they say are eminently qualified for the positions they're looking to fill. They also want to consider an internship program and possibly offering new officers sign-on bonuses. And there's another option that Wade mentioned to council members today, the possibility of seeking reimbursement from officers who leave the force or the other agency they, uh, they join after they've already spent, the city has already spent thousands of dollars training those officers if they leave the force within three years. Live at City Hall, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.